to calculate the carbon footprint and the energy consumption of the given electrical system that provides the required facilities to the students of the hostel and to provide a subsequent new model of the energy system that will in fact reduce the required energy and also reduce the carbon footprint of the required power so we'll quickly go through the quick calculations that will give us the energy requirement of the given system so we first calculate the energy requirement of a room for this we uh, consider an average schedule of a student that is given in the problem statement and for the following problem statement we calculate the power requirements of the two tube lights and the two fans that are there in the room and multiplying it by 240 we get the average consumption per year of a room in kilowatt hour that is 576.96 kilowatt hour <coughs> and we assume now for the toilet block that each student spends 30 minutes per day in the toilet and since we have two toilet blocks in one wing and 12 students per wing we effectively have six students per a toilet so the consumption per day is given by the following expression and multiplying it by the number of days per year we have effectively 57.6 kilowatt per hour yearly consumption of the toilet block we now calculate the other yearly consumptions per floor from the power rating of the appliances for the different sections of the floor wing space common area water cooler staircase and we also calculate the energy requirement for the electric geyser now we have that the number of rooms per floor is equals to 18 and the number of toilets per floor is equals to 6 and now adding all the values we have the total consumption per floor that is equals to 17458.56 kilowatt hour ground floor yearly consumption is given by 10 units the daily requirement multiplying by the 240 the number of days a student stays in the hostel and total consumption of the building is given by uh, 10 multiplied by the uh, total consumption per floor plus the ground floor yearly consumption and from the given data we also calculate the miscellaneous power requirement of the hostel we have that the total working hours of the mess is equal to 9.5 hours and the consumption of the mess is given by the following expression and the yearly express, uh, consumption by the mess is equals to 7693.92 kilowatt hour. Now we calculate the total electricity requirement of the hostel by summing up the following values. The energy requirement of one building multiplied by three since we have three buildings. The energy requirement of the mess, miscellaneous power requirement and we also cal uh, add up the hostel pump power requirement that uh, meets up the water needs of all the students in the hostel. So the total yearly cost that uh, we have for uh, our hostel effectively for uh, the electrical energy comes up to around 3.42 crores uh, and 7.11 rupees is the price per unit that MS EDCL uh, 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 tariff rates suggest and for the primary energy usage we also add up 
the LPG cylinders that are used up in the mess and uh, it uh, adds up to the total energy uh, uh, that is given by just the electricity to some amount. It is important to consider the losses during the transmission of energy from the site of generation to the host cells and this efficiency factor is effectively 0.8. So we now calculate the carbon footprint for the required amount of energy by the proposed electrical system. It is given by the following expression and we have about 4,22,615.857 kgs of CO2 for that and carbon footprint for total energy is uh, given below. We have come up with a proposed system that will reduce the energy requirement of the hostel and also reduce the carbon footprint that is given out to the atmosphere from the sources from which they are generated. So the changes that we are made is that the tube lights and the bulbs that were given in the initial system we are going to replace both of them by a Philips 9 watt LED bulb that is uh, giving out 825 lumens which is uh, in in the range of the initial tube lights and bulbs so it won't be reducing the intensity but it will just be reducing the power requirement for the light and the change in the fan is that we are installing a new fan that is Atomberg and it's power requirement is 28 volts and it is also in fact operated by a remote control so it will be more accessible and it will be uh, easier to even switch on switch off the fan when it is not in use and the halogens are replaced by LED flood, flood lights which rate about 200 watts the links to the following products are uh, hyperlinked in this slide this is a similar approach to the initial uh, system we have just plugged in the new values of the uh, power ratings of the following appliances and continuing we now have uh, some new total power read, uh, readings and also the we can see that the total energy consumptions for every uh, section of the calculations is effectively being reduced and we can see that coming to the final uh, slide where we can see that the yearly consumption of the mess has been reduced to just 5376.1 kilowatt hour now we again take the efficiency factor for the transmission of energy to be 0 0.8 and to calculate the carbon footprint for the proposed system we plug in the required energy of the hostel for the new system and uh, from the below expression we have the carbon footprint for the new system to be 2,63,181.96 kilograms which is significantly less around 1.5 times less from 4,50,000 uh, around that we had for the initially suggested system for the hostel so just the given changes make so much change in the carbon footprint and also in the required energy 
for the hostel.